Hi there and welcome to this video. I'm going to be taking you through the steps of how you can use a pre-made PLR product and make changes to it in order to make it your own. This product you can get at a really special rate in the description below in order for you to then follow along as well. So this particular product is a teen birthday games bundle. It is some really fun activities that a teen would do for their birthday. So remember you can get access to this in the link below and you can follow along as well. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Let's jump in now. Okay, so here we are over in Etsy. I always use the incognito browser. It just means that it's not returning um, or showing me listings that it feels um, are aligned with what I'm looking for. So it's great to just start with blank slate whenever you are doing your Etsy research. So the teen um, party activity bundle has proven to be an untapped, unsaturated niche. And so I'm just going to show you how I would go about trying to um, brainstorm and get design ideas of how we can repurpose this particular bundle to something different. I'm going to do it in the most um, quickest and most succinct way as possible. The foundation, the body of this product has already been made. So it's just about making those slight tweaks, those slight design changes, and then getting it up to sell as soon as possible. So bearing that in mind, I'm going to, I'm seeing lots of pinks, um, you know, lots of lovely, pretty, scripty, girly fonts. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely something that we'd want to bear in mind for our particular product here. I'm thinking that we we might change um, our template from the fonts um, to something more calligraphy-like, handwritten, and um, maybe in, implement some really nice watercolor elements as well. So let's go over to our product now. So as you can see, um, we could change this to like a calligraphy handwritten font, definitely swap this out um, and, you know, make those changes that align with those best selling products we saw on that first page of Etsy. So first up, we should definitely change this to like a calligraphy type font. So um, Malibu is quite nice. Yep, that looks nice. So we just click change all and make sure those are all changed. Center that. And then it's changed the font across the board. You just need to do the sizing and make sure that it's all in alignment. So we just need to change this font now. So we'll change it to something that is still easy to read, but just slightly different maybe. Maybe Solway. Oh. Ovo. Something a little bit fun. Okay. So I'm going to go with this. It's quite bold, nice to read, easy to read. So we'll change all now. And let's change that all across the board. As you can see, you just make a couple of maybe sizing changes here again if necessary. And all you do is just pull those out a little. Scroll through. Make sure everything looks okay. So generally, I think that all looks all right now. Um, so what I would then do is now swap out this kind of this design theme in the back. So what I'll first do is duplicate this page. Remove all of these elements. Move that white in the back. And now let's do like a kind of really cute party design back there. So I'm going to go to elements. 
water colour party. Make sure that they're free and static. And then let's have a look and see what we can see. This is quite nice. That's lovely. Um, the noon kind of border, I really like that. So I'm just copying and pasting and then adding it on. So that's really nice. And I'm going to highlight those and group them. And then I'm going to actually duplicate this page because I've seen another kind of border that I quite like the look of as well. This one. So I think that would be nice as well to have just as a border at the top. So I'm copying and pasting and just making it really nice. Grouping that as well. Okay, so we've got our balloon border, which actually we could then bring that to the bottom as well. And come to think of it, I quite like that up here. Let me ungroup back and just make a couple more changes to that. Okay. Okay, let's break that. So we've got kind of that banner at the top and balloons at the bottom. And then we would like some presents. That would be nice. Press sheets there. And then I'm going to open these, click these buttons here and then view the collection of graphics that are this same type of style. See if there's anything else. Okay, that's nice. Happy birthday there. Let me zoom in a bit so I can pick this up. Boom. Go. Maybe that might be nice stamp here. Well, I quite like it, but maybe it's not necessary. I'm going to leave that there for now and we'll see if there's anything else. Party time, I like on it. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. There. quite cute and put that to the back possibly yeah and then I think that would look nice on the other side as well we'll flip that put it to the back make sure it's in alignment with the other one let's pull that out a bit okay let's see if there are any other elements we could add Okay, let's go to, to kind of party again, see if there's anything else that is kind of in the same design style. I think party hat is always a good one. Cute. I'll just put that around the side, kind of put it to a slant. And if we can find a couple more things like that, then that'd be good. Oh, yeah, birthday candles, definitely. Birthday cake would be good as well. Let's see if we can find that in a second. Popcorn's a good one. Got birthday cake. That isn't quite the same style. See if we go, oh, that's nice. Then I put that 
there at a slant. And then, yep, yeah, put birthday cake here. And I might put that down at the bottom. Maybe down here, be good. Again to a slant. And then just a few more things. Those balloons are quite nice. Maybe we could try another party hat though. And then, lastly, let's see what else there is. Get those little buttons for the collection. Candy floss might be nice. It's nice. So we've kind of just made a border, kind of a, a decorative border with those party elements. And then what I'd then do is I'm going to remove, now that we've kind of shaped it around the wording, I'm going to remove all the words and all that extra stuff. Oops. And then I'm going to just zoom out slightly so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to highlight all of these and then group them. And then what should then be able to happen is once you've grouped those, you um, control C, click control C, and then we're going to paste that, so control B, and then that is there, we position it to the back. And then we just go ahead and do the same. And then control V. And then actually, let's see if this is something we could paste that style in with. So let's see if we could copy the style. That would be really cool. Well, oh, no, not quite. I was hopeful. So let's copy that again. Can and then paste, send it to the back. Let's see in a bit. Totally, you are following along. And then let's copy and paste that. Send it to the back again. So we're just kind of deleting this style here. And then just quickly replacing it with that pre-made style that we've made just copying and pasting so it, it is a little bit fiddly this bit but it really is it's not that bad and it's not going to take that long So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you here just to watch me as I'm doing it, just so that you get an idea of how long it does take. Because I could just edit this video down. But then you don't get an idea. Um you know how long because it really doesn't take a long time. So 
Smalls. Position it to the back. And then so we're, we're taking influence from some of the best sellers um, within this niche. And there aren't that many that are um, really honed in on this teen birthday games bundle. So hopefully, if you make a couple of different variations of this, get them up on that first page, it won't be too difficult to make those sales. Make sure you've keyworded everything properly. And then also this could be used as a template for other party games. Um, like we saw, we saw some that were aimed um, at people at, of different ages. So I uh, saw some that were aimed at people who were 50. So that's another idea that you could run with. Maybe use this as a template. Change out some of the questions. Slightly change out some of the activities to suit that age group. But again, this is going to just really bypass a lot of the headache of, you know, creating a design from scratch. I can, as you can see, this really isn't very much more than be paste, be paste. There's no typing that we've needed to do. Sorry, I'm going to move that. Didn't change the background. So usually I'd have some music or an audio book in the background, but because um, I'm recording, I can't really do that. But yeah, just copying and pasting is oddly therapeutic. Don't have to exert too much brain power for this. We are almost finished. We're already there. So now we have done that quick delete and then copying our design, our new design into there. We can delete this page. And then all you do then is go ahead, scroll through all the pages, make sure that all the alignments are on point. So you might have to just move a couple of things around. Um, if you want to move something in particular, then just click ungroup. And then just make those tiny little adjustments. Nothing too crazy.
So we're just changing a couple of things, not too much. So I'm just going through and making those last minute, those last bits and pieces changes. Just minor things. We are almost done. One bit. It's really fast. Make that bit further turn. We are almost done. I'm just removing the cake from these bingo ones. And then we are down to the answer key. Okay, so now let's look at this. So we've made those changes. And we've made those, you know, we've sized, resized things. We've changed the fonts. We've made it a really cute and fun palm tea design. And um, all that will be left is to create your lovely mock-ups, um, upload your download documents, make sure that you are keywording properly. And But this is a really lovely design that you can be proud of. Hopefully you've followed along. Um, I'd love to see your designs. If you um, want to send them over, then I'd love to have a look. And until next time, all the very best.